Hey guys, Jake from State Fun. Today we're going to be putting heated seats on the Gator. Let's go ahead and get in here to the shed and get some uh, get some stuff out of there so that we can get this started. <music> Need these relays uh, and the wire. Ooh, need my heat shrink tubing. Oh, self tapping screws. Use that to mount the relay up. I got some different electrical connectors and some tape. I got some tape in there. Okay. Need my soldering iron. I think that'll do it. I'll uh, I'll see y'all over in the uh, in the shop. We'll, uh, we'll get this started. Um, so I've already got the seat itself, kind of the cover seat installed at least one of them on the passenger side here um, obviously this passenger side because Emily is more important than I am but these just uh, come with uh, these straps you set the uh, the back of the seat over the back of the pad over top of the back of the seat here and then around here on the bottom side it comes with uh, these straps with some hooks so I've hooked those little hooks into a little uh, little screw hole on each side. So that keeps the bottom nice and tight. So I've got the uh, cigarette lighters there. I'll try and see where I can probably place them. Let me go ahead and set this seat back down. See if we can figure out a nice place for that to sit without being in the way. Maybe if we uh, attach it either there or that might be all right there. If I can figure out a way to attach it right in that hole there. It's kind of dark in that hole. It doesn't interfere with the uh, handbrake or anything there. That's probably where I'm gonna go. Um, gotta figure out a way to get it attached and then hook it in. It may actually just dangle loose for a while until I get around to permanently attaching it. But for right now, I wanna get it wired up more so than I want to get, get it physically attached. Alright, so I need to find a way to mount the relay and get power, get power to it. Let's get one of the relays out and take a look. So these relays actually come with a little wiring harness and a wiring harness with a little waterproof seal there. That's nice. Alright, let's see if we can get one of these self-tappers here to sink through the metal and we can get the relay mounted up. Let's see, where do I want this? Probably right over here beside the uh, toilet tank. Alright, so now that I got that tapped, go ahead and use that screw to mount the relay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pull the little harness off so that I can wire it up without being attached to the relay down here. All right, now oh, that's mounted. I'm gonna go get my uh, soldering iron. So we got the uh, soldering iron and the heat shrink tubing now. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of wire and run it from the battery over here to uh, near where the relay is. And then we'll be taking the wire from the uh, cigarette lighter here and attaching that to the relay. Um, on this cigarette lighter we'll be attaching one prong. I guess I need to know which one's what. I need to figure out which prong is positive and which one's negative. That'd be a good idea. Uh, I'll figure out which one's positive and which one's negative and then we'll take the positive prong and run it to the blue connector or the blue wire off of the relay housing here and that is considered, let's see, I think that's the 87 terminal. I got another relay around here. Let me look at that real quick. All right, so you've got terminal 85 and 86, which causes the switch to uh, change between terminal 87 and 87A. Um, and then 30 is what is connected to either 87 or 87A. So on the harness itself, the red wire is prong 30. Uh, your white and black are your prongs uh, 
what is that, 85 and 86. And then yellow and blue is 87 and 87A. Okay, so your blue wire is prong 87, and the yellow wire is prong 87A. So in a resting position, 30 is connected to 87A. So at rest, the red wire is connected to the yellow wire. And then when you power the relay on, the red wire then becomes connected to the blue wire, which is terminal 87. And that's how this, uh, this relay works. It uses the current from uh, flowing 12 volts through uh, these terminals here, it uses that current to pull the switch towards, or push away, I guess, in this diagram, to the, uh, to the 87 terminal. If you wanted to skip all of that and just get a basic understanding of what we're doing, we're going to have power run to the white, ground one run to the black, power ran to the red, and then blue is going to go to, to the positive terminal of our cigarette lighter. I keep forgetting that word. Uh, blue is going to run to the power wire of the cigarette lighter, and then the ground wire of the cigarette lighter is going to tie back into the ground that we pull for the relay. So. This yellow wire will be completely unused. Uh, we'll probably clip it down a little bit shorter so it's not out of a kind of, that way it's just not dangling. Hey guys, so if that sounded like a lot of rambling to you, I'm going to try and explain it a little bit better with the pictogram here on the screen. So I've got the gator battery, the key ignition, the relay we've installed, and then the heated seat depicted there. Now this is assuming that the heated seat is actually plugged into the cigarette lighter. So with the key off, uh, represented by the open contact at key ignition, that means there is a zero volt uh, presence at the relay terminal represented by that orange zero volt. Um, due to this, the switch for the relay itself stays in the uh, open position and is connected to 80, terminal 87A or the yellow wire on that relay uh, harness. Um, as you'll remember, we clipped the, uh, the yellow wire short and did not connect, connect it to anything. So the blue wire that is shown with the uh, blue zero volt to the heated seat means that the heated seat stays off. This prevents the uh, heated seat from draining the battery of the gator if we forget to unplug, the, uh, uh, unplug it from the cigarette lighter. Um, so with the key on, indicated by the closed contact at key ignition, there's 12 volts provided uh, to the relay, which uh, causes the switch to inside the relay to activate terminal 87 and allows current to flow to this blue 12 volt by the heated seat and heat our butt up. Hope that uh, helps out with the explanation and uh, we'll go ahead and get back to the video. Well, that's the wiring. We're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a few wires pulled over here. Um, get some battery terminal connectors uh, placed onto the two ends of that. And then we'll get them soldered in place over here on the, uh, on the relay harness. So I got some 12 gauge wire here. Uh, I kinda draped it along the outside to make sure that I got enough length. I just wanna double check it now that I can kinda run it alongside where I will actually be traveling. Let's see. This will probably go down along there. And then angle over to here. So I got plenty extra. We'll go ahead and clip another one this same size and then get some terminals uh, crimped onto the end here. I've got these uh, terminals crimped up, put a little heat shrink on there to tell me which one's positive and negative, and uh, went ahead and heat shrunk them down. Uh, tried to make them look kind of pretty. That one's got a little bend, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to figure out which, uh, which wire is positive and negative on that uh, cigarette lighter, and then we'll go ahead and get uh, wires hooked up for the uh, relay block here. So I've got a uh, little multimeter here. 
I'm going to set it to the resistance setting and then connect multimeter to one of the wires and then determine if it's the center section and it is. Um, you can see that by the fact that the multimeter has gone to less than uh, less than one ohm, I believe. Um, so the cigarette lighter is either center section or outer ring, and the outer ring does not move the multimeter at all. Center section does, which means if I connect to this other wire, it should detach. It should move when I touch the outer ring here but not when I touch the center section. That tells me which one is uh, which one is connected to which section of the cigarette lighter. Now I've got to double check and make sure I know which one's positive and negative for the cigarette lighter. I believe the center is power and the outside ring is ground, but I am going to go Google that and double check. So from what I can tell, I am correct in saying that the center pole that down there is the, uh, the positive and the outer ring is the negative. So that center pole uh, associates with the one that already has a terminal on it. So I'll leave that terminal on there to make sure that I remember that that's positive. Uh, we'll get the rest of this stuff kind of ready to wire up and uh, get it soldered together and then heat shrunk. Amazon a little while back and it's probably the best stuff I've used um, I haven't really used a whole lot of good heat shrink tubing um, this is all cheap stuff because I do things cheap but uh, it actually has an inner wall of glue so when you heat it up the glue melts and the, sh the tubing shrinks and the glue performs a nice uh, somewhat water resistant seal around the wires that you've heat shrink so this should provide a decent uh, little bit of water resistance. Um, it's up in here by the motor, so if I get water all the way up in there, I've got bigger problems, but still nice to have. Definitely keeps it from brushing up against any other metal and causing a, a short or anything like that. I know this is the negative and it could brush up against the metal and be fine, but still better safe than sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the terminal for power to the cigarette lighter. Always remember to put your uh, heat shrink tubing on the wire before you solder it together. If you don't, you have to deal with using just electrical tape or cutting and re-soldering it. It's never a fun deal. And power for the relay. Switching power. Or switch power? I don't know what to call it. Terminal 30. This will be coming from our battery. So the last terminal we need to hook up is the power to the, uh, the switching signal, I guess. Um, I'd like to pull this from the, uh, the signal from the key. And I believe the fuel pump might be the easiest place to do that from. So I'm gonna try and tee a wire off of the yellow uh, wire here, powering the fuel pump into the relay here. So let's get started on that. So I've essentially done what's, uh, what I'm gonna call a redneck tee cut out a little bit of the uh, wire insulation on what I want to tie into. Then I stripped the other wire back and just wrapped it around, throw a little bit of solder on there, and then I'm going to put some electrical tape over it. I don't know the actual term for this, but it is some sort of tie-in, and well, I'm somewhat a redneck. Got to do is 
hook it up. So I should be able to snap this into the relay and then kind of maneuver these wires around and zip tie them into place so that they're not uh, going to hit the chain or anything like that. We've got it uh, hooked up now. I haven't cleaned up and zip tied the wires yet because I want to power it on and see if it actually works. If it does, then I'll actually zip tie the wires out of the way and get everything kind of cleaned up and ready to, ready to ride. So let's give her a test. So I believe the lights on this um, cigarette lighter will light up when they are powered on. I'm not positive. But uh, after that, we'll plug the, uh, plug the heated seat in. And I know the light on here will power on if we've got it hooked up correctly. And then we'll see if our butt gets hot. Okay. These things lit up already. So that's a good sign. Yay! Got a light on the heated seat part. I already feel it heating up on the back side. Let's clean those wires up. So I've got these little stick-on wire loop, uh, I don't know what you call them, I guess organizers maybe. They work really well for small wires. And they're just a little 3M thing. I'll put a link to the description of them. Link to them in the description. They come in like a bag of a thousand or something. But they're useful to have around. I've had these, I bought the bag probably I don't know, three, four years ago, and I'm still using them around the house every now and then. So I'm using these little stick-on things right here to keep the wire for the uh, cigarette lighter nice and neat. Uh, but first, I kind of need to clean this plastic off, so there it is. Quick little spray with some purple power and a wipe down with a rag. zip tied out of the way inside the engine bay here. That looks pretty clean to me. For an engine bay at least. Hey guys, thanks for following along. Hope you're warm because my butt sure is now. I hope y'all liked the video. If you did, go ahead and hit me, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see us actually put the side paneling on, that should be an upcoming video as well. Go ahead and subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification if you want to. That way you get a little notification pop up when I post a new video. And uh, well, y'all have a good one.